Welcome to this session on Relativity Short Message Files. My name is Greg Houston and I'm part of the Solutions team here at Relativity. Relativity created a new file type called Relativity Short Message. The idea of the short message file is to push all of the pieces of message application files into one file itself. In the past, if you were to download these files from collection tools, a lot of times you have a text file of the actual conversation, you have file information about, uh, you have attachment files, there's information about who the participants are, and so the relativity short message file type is meant to bring all that together into one file. That file then can be processed in relativity and available for review. So that takes into account Slack type data, Skype, Bloomberg, SMS messages from phones, and pushes that into one file format that then can be utilized by processing in relativity to be available for the review, for imaging, and even eventually production of that data. So you create these RSM files. These files are essentially a zip of the data from the message itself and from the attachments and supporting files. All those pieces happen in communications that we take for granted and are all there, but during the collection process sometimes get dropped off. The relativity short message file packages all that into one file, easy to use for processing. So we process that with relativity, it brings it into the workspace and the viewer actually displays it in a new view that's available, the short message viewer. So this displays, uh, it can be iMessages or Skype or Slack. You can see persistent highlights, it's searchable, you can search for emojis, so another thing that's, that's never been really dealt with before is the emojis. You have the whole conversation. There's not one perspective, you're just seeing the conversation as, as a whole. And you also at the bottom get this timeline navigator to understand when did certain things occur, when did different messages occur. Sometimes conversations can go on over the course of a week, sometimes the conversations go on overnight over the course of a day and so this kind of gives you a feeling of when things occurred and how long that tracking that that happened in the conversation pane you can actually see all the participants you can see the message and you can actually hover over certain things and get more information so if you want to see information about the participants of this conversation you can hover over their name and if there's information in available it'll show you all the potential data that's available around that participant you can actually see reactions that participants added you can see images and actually click on an actual image or audio or video of some sort of thing that are dropped in here so let's jump out to a relatively short message workspace and check out what they look like in the real world. So what you'll notice here is we've created a dashboard with emojis. So these are STR, this is an STR based on emojis. You can see that the money bag emoji was used 10 times or found 10 times in these items. We've got the heavy dollar sign, we've got uh, Mrs. Claus, um, sweet potato. So all these different emojis occurred over different times. We've also got different file types. So we've got the actual short message file type, but along with that there were other things pasted into these messages. So we've got GIFs and PowerPoints, Word docs, all are part of our conversation that occurred in our short message file. If I scroll down here what you'll notice in our view is these family groups based upon the short message file itself. So we've got a related group here of all the short message. Uh, the short message itself is towards the top and it has a new icon here available. And when we jump into that message in the viewer, you'll see um, this new view that's created based upon all the participants at the top. We can scroll through the actual message itself. We will see the avatars and any information about individuals here as well. We can see when things were edited, any kind of information about the actual post. And also at the very bottom here, as you'll see as I scroll down, we're slowly going across the timeline of when things occurred. So when did these messages actually occur? You get a little line here to indicate that there were two messages at this time. 
and then we've got our big gap here and we can go down to the next time a message was sent. We get information about whether something was deleted or removed depending upon the application you're using. You can see here that there are Word documents, PDFs, or this is a PowerPoint actually, that were added into the actual conversation. GIFs that were added, and all of that is available in one file view so you don't have to look at them individually. Now we do have these files available so if I click to the next record what you'll see is here's the individual avatar file itself and the image the attached itself and another image. So then the PowerPoint. These are all available if you wish to dive in deeper and take a look at those. However, if you want, you could create a new view that shows just the message, top level message files, and take a look at those. They are indicated by the relative native type of relatively short message format. So that's message files. If you have questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to the solutions team here at Relativity. Go check out our website at help.relativity.com. Thank you for joining me.